So you may be noticing that today's date is Wednesday, August 12th, 2020. If you want to go back to my oldest video, it was uploaded on Saturday, August 12th, 2017, which means it is three years old as of today. Speaking of that, today I will be explaining the history of events and production of that video, how I started the Adventures of Gus, and how I relaunched my YouTube channel. If you look at when my channel was first created, it was on Sunday, January 29th, 2017. That was also the same day that I created my very first ever YouTube video on the platform. I would later delete that video in March of 2017, but during that time I was striving to be something akin to a Let's Play channel. Except I recorded the footage with my old iPhone 5S. And I just played games like Mario Maker and Smash 4. Mainly Smash 4. Um, but I did make some other stuff, like a tutorial video on how to screen record with your phone, uh, and I had my first ever uploads of the Nerfinator, Killer Clowns 1, 2, and 3, yes, they were originally an 8-minute trilogy, and the Evil Gingerbread Man, because those were made uh, during that time in the early, in early 2017. Uh, not only that, but uh, there, the original versions are still on my friend Graham's channel, uh, but I did re-upload them, so you can watch them in, they were re-edited, so they're better, I guess. Um, but the first ever video I made in iMovie was a prototype of Super Mario's Reality Adventure. I can't remember what I called it, and I deleted it like two seconds after it got uploaded, uh, because I did not like it. <laughs> at all. It was basically a clone of that Mario Fable series, if any of you remember that. However, in late May or early June, can't quite remember exactly, I decided to make a new channel since I thought I wasn't really successful and, well, my channel only had five subscribers. Uh, but the thing was, I didn't know how to make a new YouTube channel, so I deleted all of my old videos, every single one of them, even the ones I was proud of. My, what my plan was that I would get an El Elgato capture card for my birthday, and I would record videos like Smash 4 or something, number one and two, I guess, uh, on my new YouTube channel, which is, was my old one. I just had my videos deleted. Um, but the thing was, that plan was flawed because I don't have a computer and you need an Elgato capture card for a computer. And second, the reason my videos weren't even a success was because, well, they were bad. They were my first videos ever. Of course you're going to be garbage. And, uh, yeah, that was two reasons. There were only a couple. But still, even when I asked for an Elgato capture card for my birthday, I didn't get it, so that just delayed my return even further down the line. I like to refer to this, uh, the period when I made, first made videos on this platform in early 2017, like from January 29th to like May or June. I call that the pre-hiatus era, uh, and I call the, obviously I call the period when I didn't make any videos, the hiatus era, and and on August 12th when I made uh, my comeback with the Adventures of Gus, that's when I call my relaunch era. And we're still in it, but hey, I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna delete all of the videos that I've made so far and make the re-relaunch era, but it'd probably be on a new channel. If you're wondering how I started this relaunch era, well, this is how it went down. It all started with a simple FaceTime with my good friend, Graham. He called me and he basically told me to make a new video or he would unsubscribe. Now, when you're as, as small as I was and you have five subscribers and you're going to become a four subscriber YouTube channel, it's painful to lose that. It's like if Yandere Dev lost a fifth of his code for Yandere Simulator. And so that day I brainstormed a bunch of video ideas. I tried coming up with something. Then I thought of my French Bulldog Gus and said, I know what I can do. I mean, just look at him, he's perfect for a YouTube show. 
Now for this, I didn't have a tripod. In fact, I didn't get one until right now. I'm using one right now. Um, but what I did was, for this video and most of my videos that are that exist, I use simple objects around my house and like trees and stuff where I just held the camera in most cases if it for the, for this video in particular. And some of these shots aren't too bad like the this shot right here. Yeah, I could use some work. But with the shot like with Georgia putting her paw on the remote control, I'm actually impressed with that. Like I I I'm very proud of that shot. But I want, and I was coming up with a simple premise of what's going to happen and basically Georgia gets kidnapped. By who? I don't know. I even I didn't even know at the time who how I wanted the story to go down. I just made it up as I went along. In fact, that's how most of my videos went. And I still wanted to do Let's Plays, though after making a bunch of Adventures of Gus videos and then doing Adventures of Georgia and even making a uh, starting a QES thing, Qual into Entertainment System, I know very creative, uh, basically just parodying NES games, also Doom. I started to just kind of forget about the Let's Plays idea and just just vanished. Why did the Let's Play idea just go away? Well, because I was having fun making videos like this, like making skits with my dogs and uh, occasionally my friends. And I say friend because <laughs> I only got Graham to do some of my videos. Nowadays, no. Nowadays, yeah, I'll get him, but but I also have some other people, and I have future plans with other people besides him. In fact, I think, like, one project that I have involves him. And, yeah, that was the story of my relaunch. And I told you how my pre-hiatus period went with the hiatus era, era 2. I did make some videos during that time, or contributed, because uh, I was in... Um, a Star Wars video that me and Graham made, and uh, you probably can't find it now, unfortunately, because that thing is a masterpiece. And I say that in an ironic sense because it's so bad. In fact, uh, I look nowadays. I look back on some of the stuff that we made, uh, or just I made, and I just hate myself because man, how did I do this? It looks so ugly and bad. But it was some of my first videos, and yeah, now some of my videos aren't too great, but I mean, hey, I appreciate the more than those things, Jesus. And I do, for my old, old videos in the pre-hiatus pre era, I still wish I kept them. I, I wish that I didn't delete them all. Um, and I, it may have affected, like, the... Agency 13 arc thing, um, but who cares? I mean, it's it's history, and unfortunately, I can't go back to like way back machines because I didn't even know what they were back then. I and they're lost to history, unfortunately. I, I do have an old screenshot from late 2017 when I had 10 subscribers and a Zelda-based profile. I autism special interest are pain. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've improved a lot over the years. It's been three, and I have many more to go. Or or maybe I'll be done by tomorrow, I don't know. But um, be safe, wear a mask, wash hands, do whatever y you can. And hey, if you want to make videos, do that. You can have a great time. It, of course, it depends on your budget, the equipment you have, but hey. Everyone's first videos are not really that great. N no one's are. Mine weren't. And, me and you could ask any other YouTuber out there that their first videos weren't their best and they are definitely not proud of them. But, see you later guys.